What's up folks, welcome to a brand new video. I thought I'd go over this Chief Rabbi Malarkey from last night because it's had the typical reaction that you'd expect from Labour, from their MPs and from the other people, the, the members that aren't so nice. Uh, we had the MPs doing the usual, oh we must condemn this etc etc. People like Jess Phillips, but they're still going to stay with the party and they're still enabling it so it don't make them any better but then we've also got the darker side of it as well that spreads across social media like wildfire because they think it's a safe place that they can just troll like that um, but i'll get on to the story just in case you don't know about that first the chief rabbi has come out and strongly criticized labor uh, he claims the party is not doing enough to root out anti-jewish racism um, he's asked people to vote with a conscience in this general election. In the Times, he said, a new poison sanctioned from the very top has taken root in the party. Labour's claim that, it, that it's investigated all of the anti-Semitism in its ranks was a mendacious fiction, he added. Corbyn, of course, says that Labour's tackling anti-Semitism by expelling members. Uh, it comes as Labour's launching the Race and Faith Manifesto, which aims to improve protections for all faith and to tackle prejudice. Well, they've got a long bloody way to go because some of the stuff I've seen on social media this morning was just not nice. I'm going to go through some of the tweets later. I'm going to read some of them out for you just to, just so you can see how bad it really is. Um, it's just complete denial, some of it. It's quite worrying. Um, a number of Jewish Labour politicians, including Lucian Berger and Louise Elman, have quit the party after being the subject of anti-Semitic anti abuse on social media, while others have accused Corbyn of personally endorsing anti-Semitic tropes and imagery. Um, in his article, the Rabbi of Great Britain and Northern Ireland, who is the spiritual leader, leader of the United Synagogue, the largest umbrella group of Jewish communities in the country, says, raising his concern ranks among the most painful moments I have ever experienced since taking office. But he claims the overwhelming majority of British Jews are gripped by anxiety at the prospect of a Labour, Labour victory in 12th December's general election. And that is quite worrying, the fact that this country's got to that point, that Jews don't feel safe here anymore. Like, what, what are we becoming, really? It's, it's a bit... It's too much. Just chill the fuck out. Um, he writes, the way in which the leadership of the Labour Party has dealt with the anti-Jewish racism is incompatible with British values of which we are so proud, of dignity and respect for all people. It has left many decent Labour members and parliamentarians, both Jewish and non-Jewish, ashamed of what has transpired. He adds that it was not my place to tell any person how they should vote, but he urged the public to vote with a conscience. The Chief Rabbi also claimed that the response of Labour's leadership to threats against parliamentarians, members and staff has been utterly inadequate and said that it can no longer claim to be the party of equality and anti-racism. Um, Mike Katz, the chair of the Jewish Labour Movement Group, which is officially aff affiliated to the party, said that the Chief Rabbi was absolutely right and that there had been a failure of leadership over anti-Semitism in Labour. The former Labour MP, Chukar Amun, who's with the Lib Dems now, so the Chief Rabbi's devastating comments shamed all of British politics. But I don't really want to go through what Chukar and Munna bloody said because we've heard it all bloody before. Um, things that don't really get highlighted are the comments that you get from, I, I can't call them Labour Party members, but I'd say Labour Party supporters. It's quite clear whose side they're on in the general election, put it that way. But if I'm going to go on to a few of them right now. So on we go to these showers of shit then. Uh, Big Girls Blouse Esquire, hashtag FBPE, of fucking course. If you've got nothing to positive to say, Chief Rabbi, fuck off. Get Brexit gone. Chief Rabbi is a friend of Boris Johnson, but yeah, we should take him at his word today. Go fuck yourself deep in the ass with a rusty screwdriver, Mr. Chief Rabbi. Um, this is the problem. This, this time... Because he's got both parts there, you've got the nasty bit at the end, which is pretty obvious to everybody, but the first line is probably just as bad. Chief Rabbi is a friend of Boris Johnson, but yeah, we should take him at his word today. Just because he's been in a picture with Boris Johnson doesn't mean that this opinion is irrelevant. It's For him to say something like this so close to a general election, especially during the campaign, it's got to have been communicated to him by much more than just him deciding that he's going to come out and say this. Like, he would not make this intervention on his own, of just his own accord. So, yeah, 
complete denial from Labour supporters. I, again, I can't call them members. I don't know, but Labour supporters, obviously. But there's there's worse than that. Um, oh fuck off, Laura. Let's not forget the fact that Chief Rabbi, in quotation marks, for some reason is a rampant supporter of Israel's aim to completely and utterly wipe any trace of Palestinians off the face of the earth. He is a terrorist and Israel is a terrorist state. This is, this is just more complete denial. Like, what's happened to Labour? I can't believe I've supported this party for nearly 20 years. I am utterly ashamed of what it's becoming or what it's become. Uh, yeah, the next one's not any better. Hey, fuck the chief rabbi, okay? Another fucking Israeli stooge out to screw Labour. Show your proof. Show JC being racist. I wish there was a god so it, it could really fuck the chief rabbi up bad. Hashtag cunt. Hashtag vote Labour 2019. Fuck the chief rabbi, warmonger, hateful Jew. People who just can't support Labour because of anti-Semitism but supports a racist and sexist and homophobic Boris Johnson. You clearly don't give a fuck about Jews or anyone. You're just a Tory. Say it with your chest. Now, first of all, Boris is one of the most liberal Tories there has ever been. Probably the most liberal Tory there has ever been. Um, he was one of the few Tories that really pushed Section 28 you cannot call him homophobic you just, you're just a fucking idiot if you call him homophobic so get over it mate um, yeah this was one of the worst ones that I saw this is three tweets in one um, guy's name is John Kane and me if you want to go and report him on Twitter feel fucking free Right, considering the Jews are among the richest elite it's no wonder they are terrified of a Labour government Vote with your conscience, all right. Vote to rid child poverty. Vote for the no normal working class. In other words, fuck the Tories out there on their arse. Vote Labour. Now, that's not too bad. The first line's... It's an anti-Semitic trope. So, yeah, worse than I originally said. But still, it gets worse. The Tories talk about Labour bankrupting the country. The Tories did bankrupt the country. Remember the bail out of their friends in the financial sector? We had to pay the cost, not the rich elitist bastards. Don't let them get away with it. Me? I'd bring back firing squads and have them shot. This is where we've got to nowadays. This is just politics of envy. They are contemplating bringing back firing squads they would like to bring back firing squads for people that think differently to them um, this is labor this is labor it's not just the plebs though that are saying this type of stuff it's not helping when very prominent members of labor who are on tv quite a lot at the moment they're doing pretty much the same thing as holly's doing right here um, holly's an english teacher by the way so if your kids are in a school this is what they're probably having to listen to um, Chief Rabbi is a Boris Johnson supporter he's also an uncritical supporter of Netanyahu and the violent oppression of Palestinians by Israel Labour is promising to recognize a Palestinian state and end arms sales to Israel his comments must be taken in this context no Holly no it must not that is an anti that is an anti-Semitic trope. It must not be taken in that context. He would not be airing his personal view this close to an election. He must have been communicated this by other Jewish people in the UK. It's it's an unprecedented intervention, this is, Holly. You, you're just talking bollocks, love. Um, we go to... One Labour supporter by the looks of it, Labour member maybe, that seems to actually get it. The reaction to the Chief Rabbi's statement from so many of our members has been to question his leg legitimacy and loyalty. That's right, they jumped straight into the anti-Semitic tropes. The state of Labour right now is fucking heartbreaking. I feel this guy's pain, I'm an ex-Labour voter, I, I wholeheartedly agree mate. I'm, this is how bad it bloody is nowadays, unfortunately. 
Let's be clear, it's very unusual for an intervention like that by a leader of any religious group during a general election campaign, especially one that's already well underway. I mean, last week, the Archbishops of Canterbury and York, they both appealed to voters and politicians to honour the truth and challenge falsehoods. But there were no criticism of individual candidates or party leaders or anything like that. However, the Chief Rabbi's article specifically asks if Jeremy Corbyn is fit for high office and calls on voters to consider what the result of this election will say about the moral compass of this country. Is this just another nail in the coffin for Labour and Corbyn? Fingers crossed folks.